All right, still hanging out at the Hatteras Kite Expo. Hanging out with a good friend of mine, a man who really needs no introduction, Dimitri. Good to see you, my friend. How do you like uh, How do you like your move to Hatteras? You've been here a few years now. You've made this your home spot, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I've been here for uh, probably 17 years, so way before kite surfing uh, um, came up. But um, uh, I moved here on the, uh, in, on the Outer Banks, uh, North Carolina, just because of windsurfing. We all used to uh, windsurf before kiteboarding came along, and since then, you know, start windsurfing, working for a shop, and in competition, I was doing the, I was a pro windsurfer, and then um, kiteboarding came along, gave it a shot, tried, got my butt whipped pretty much, you know, like at the beginning was a lot, uh, it was hard, so, uh, but look how things uh, has come along for a long time, so it's been uh, 11 years now, kiteboarding, and yes, Hatteras, uh, North Carolina is an amazing place uh, to live in. So, Dimitri, what does um, Epic have to offer for 2011? What are you guys highlighting here? Uh, well, 2011 has been so far really, really amazing. I mean, we're selling so many kites, and uh, it's all the product Epic Kites has offered is very. I mean, we strive about quality and uh, performance, and of course, customer service. That's what Epic Kites is all about. And it's like the Ferrari with the customer service of uh, Macintosh, Apple. So that's what you know I want Epic to be. So anyway, for 2011, we have an amazing product. We have the Junior Pro 4, which made for kids. We really um, target family kites and kids. Uh, Cameron uh, Maramonides is one of the youngest kiteboarder. I mean, you should see him yesterday. Every time I take videos of him, the next day is already improved. So the videos that I already took the day before are already old. So uh, anyway, he has his own Pro uh, Junior Pro 4, and he uses a special bar. And uh, we're doing a lot of, uh, we're selling a lot of those kites. And also, we're coming up with a trainer kite. It's called a Tudor. It's a 2.5 trainer kite, inflatable. So the schools really love this. Uh, of course, the well-known Infinity kite, the Rain Again Infinity. A lot of people are like, well, what size is that? I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's a light wind kite. Kite. I mean, you should see, we were the first one out, and uh, people are amazed about the, this kite. One guy just came out, it's like, it's too powerful for me, and it's blowing like probably maybe 16 out there right now, uh, but earlier, and that's too much for this kite. Earlier, it was blowing like 7 to 12, and I was perfect. A line of surfboards, the Reef, and it's going to come in 5.11 and 5.7, um, but that's going to be like uh, for 2012. A Renegade, but a uh, 13 meter, because we have the Renegade Infinity, and then we have a Renegade 11, and then 9 and 6, and something between the Infinity and 11, you know, we need. So we're coming up for 2012. It's going to be 2011 in July. We're going to coming up with a Renegade uh, 13 meter. Amazing boards, uh, twin tips. It comes a Spartan. It's a 129 by 39. Uh, the Droid 135 by 41. And also the Oxygen, the Lightwing machine, which is 135 by 47. Uh, so all those boards, you know, I mean, it, the product, I mean, you can look behind you. We're coming up also with a stand-up paddle. Uh, so all those boards are, those are actually not the... Um, uh, the graphics we're going to have, it's going to be wood, and really cool graphics. But, I mean, there's so much we can talk and spend day. But um, can I go kiting now? In just a minute, I have a couple more questions. Since you mentioned that little, that little guy of yours, Cameron, I was here when he was riding the other day, and it is cool. And like you said, he learns a new trick every day, pretty much. I was watching him. He was working on riding blind. I watched him. I don't know if I should say, but he was jumping off the dock and stuff. He was what? He's not allowed to do that. <laughs> yeah, he's... He's got some, some of dad in him, but uh, yeah, that's cool that you, you cater to the kids a little bit, and, and it's cool that you have him on your team to help give the input and train. What a great, uh, what a great family setup. So I have a question I need to ask you. Do you have good and bad days like the rest of us? Because I was watching you the other day, and you stuck every trick that you tried that I watched, and they were all such high technical hard tricks and you landed them so easy and i was thinking oh wow he must really be having a good day he's on today or is that just an everyday thing for you uh of course you have some bad and good days and it's very funny you as you say that because sometimes when i come back home you know my wife is there finishing the emails and customer service and all that so because she gives me like a four hours of uh going to so i can go and play and all that and test it. But when i come home I says honey today i was able to land everything so it's uh, you, know, uh, you know on and off so uh uh, and of course, it's the kite, the equipment you're riding on. You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, you, do, you do, you do have some uh, bad days and good days. I mean, today I'm sure if I go out because it's tight offshore, the conditions are not really good. And you know, you just have, you know, you just have to be on, on a good time, good day, good condition, and you know, you have to feel good about yourself to, uh, to be able to do that. So. So that's very good uh, information. Thank you very much. It's been great talking to you. Keep up the good work, my friend. I always enjoy bumping into you everywhere. Well, I know that because you always pump my kites, correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>